Hey guys, welcome to Porter's eight month update. The months are just flying by. I cannot believe another month has gone by and he's eight months old now. He seems surprised too. So Porter now weighs 19 pounds, 19.2 pounds is what I measured on the scale. He is getting to be a very big boy. He's very big and we think he's around 29 inches tall. Hard to know, we didn't go to the doctor. We will be going next month for his nine month checkup and then we will get like exact measurements but for now I think that's what we're going on so he's just big he honestly looks like a one-year-old he doesn't even look like an eight-month-old he is huge several things happened with Porter this this past month it's like, yeah it's like six months and seven months he did nothing new and then uh, the eight month he just like did a ton of new stuff and crammed it all in one month so for starters Porter is sitting up now. Um, I'll input a picture here. He was doing it before, but he would always like topple over, like I'd have to sit behind him. Now he, I can put him down and most, like nine times out of 10, he'll just sit the whole time. He will fall here and there, uh, but usually he just like rolls to where he wants to go or he just um, sits and he does really good with that. So it's so nice to be able to put him down, sit him and you know, know that he's not gonna topple over. Porter um, is crawling now. I think that's probably like the biggest thing. He is finally crawling. It happened like days before he turned eight months old. I never thought it was gonna happen. I thought he would just go straight to walking, but yes, he's finally crawling. I'll input a video of that here. Come on, come get the ball. Come on. <laughs> Good job, Porter! Yay! <laughs> Go, Porter! He crawls so fast. Every day he's getting faster. He loves to chase after um, his blue ball. He loves to get into whatever Big Brother Grayson is doing, which has started to cause some arguments. So that's been interesting to watch. Really, he just crawls so that he can get to me. If he's on one side of the room and I'm on the other helping Grayson out with something, he will make a beeline straight for me and then crawls into my lap because he just wants to be as close to me as possible. I always joke that if Porter could crawl back inside my womb, he would because he always wants to get so close to me. He loves being near me. So yes, yeah, sitting, crawling, another big thing. He said his first word. Pause this video, comment down below if you haven't seen my video, what you think his first word was, okay? Porter's first word was dada. Can you say dada? Well, he's gonna be camera shy and he won't say, but I will input a video here of that. So yes, he said dada first. Grayson said mama first. Porter said dada first. They say, most kids say dada first because it's just easier to say those syllables, consonants, whatever you wanna call them. Yes. He is saying dada, and then about a week later on Mother's Day, he started saying mama. And that was a really fun Mother's Day gift to me. So now he just kind of flips back and forth. Sometimes he says dada, sometimes he says mama. I don't think he really favors one over the other, he just says it. He'll also say baba and rara. They don't really mean anything. Like he says mama, but he, I don't think he really understands I'm mama, Anthony's dada. Like he doesn't get that, but we're getting there. We're trying to teach him um, the word give kisses. Let's see if he'll do it. Give kisses, give kisses. I think he's distracted by the camera. We usually say give kisses and then he'll give us a kiss on our cheek. It's those open mouth kisses that are so adorable. So that's what we're working on. I think he recognizes the word Felix. If I say, where's Felix? Where's Felix? And if Felix is around, he'll look. But he doesn't really recognize a lot of words yet. 
but yes, he is a chatterbox. He's saying a lot more now. He's screeching, he's found his voice and um, doing those kind of words, and he still loves his raspberries. He um, blows raspberries all the time. So not only does he like to screech in excitement, which is super cute to hear, but sometimes a little alarming, he also likes to make noises with his hand to his mouth. So I'll see if I can get him to do it. La, 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 la. I'll input a video of that here. Yeah, he loves doing that, uh, and he does it himself, or like if my hand's close, he'll grab my hand and bring it up, and he, I mean, he loves doing this. He could do this all day. He loves it. I remember Grayson doing this too. Not as much as Porter does. Porter loves it. It must be like the sound or something. He loves it. Yeah, so he's super cute. Porter is still super serious. Um, he smiles a good bit, but laughing is pretty hard to get out of him. He has laughed a lot more this past month. It does seem it's a little easier to get those laughs out of him, but he still does not laugh out loud like all the time. It's very seldomly. Porter is still a pretty sensitive baby. If um, strangers are near him, he gets very shy. Um, it was so funny the other day, um, we met our friends. We hadn't seen them in a while because of the pandemic, but now that we're all vaccinated, we met up with each other. And um, the woman came and gave me a hug and I was holding Porter and she came and gave me a hug and as soon as she gave me a hug, Porter started screaming, crying because he was scared. So he is a quarantine baby, scared of strangers. Um, and he's a little sensitive. You know, if Grayson splashes him or any loud noise, then he kind of freaks out a little. So he's a little sensitive soul, but it's pretty cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Porter finally figured out how to bounce in his bouncer. It took him forever, but he finally does. And so now he's actually really enjoying the bouncer. He loves um, the bouncer way more than his play gym. He just will not stay still in that play gym anymore. He just wants to go, go, go. But the bouncer, he loves bouncing on it. He thinks it's super fun, especially if I'm sitting right there next to him. He does not like it if I put him in the bouncer and walk away. Like even if I'm in the kitchen and he can see me and I can see him, no, I have to be right next to him. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. He has started to mimic Anthony and I's behaviors a little bit. So like if we do that, oh, then he'll start doing it. Um, if we do the scrunchy face, then he'll start doing it. So he has started to copy us and mimic us, which is really fun to see. Porter still loves water. He loves bath time. Now that it's summer, we're starting to get the pool out. I'm super excited to see what he thinks about that. He loves going on walks. Um, he loves being in the stroller, loves being in the wagon. He loves chewing on his chew toys. He loves exploring and get into places he should not be now that he's crawling. He loves to suck on his fingers. He loves swinging in the swing, loves it, thinks that's super fun. He's just active, he just go, 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 but also hold me. <laughs> so he's kind of a funny character, but he keeps us busy. Food wise, um, we've been doing a lot of fruit this uh, past month, so he's done peaches and pears and bananas, and he's liked all the fruits. We're gonna try apples is the last one to try, but I think he'll love it. Big Brother Grayson loves apples. We've also been doing some baby led weaning. We've done um, bites of pizza. We've done strawberries. We've done raspberries. Veggie straws are his favorite. He loves veggie straws. He eats them all the time. He still gags a lot on food and he ends up like spitting it out. So I don't know how much food he's actually eating, um, but it, he does prefer to feed himself rather than me feed him. He's very independent that in that way, but very dependent on me and holding him in the other way. Sleep this month, the Porter has just been all over the place. He's, honestly, he's just terrible. He's a terrible sleeper. So naps, he does pretty good. We did go through a stint not too long ago where he was skipping his first nap. Um, so that was not fun. He would only take one nap 
um, but now he's back onto the two naps. And so he does pretty good. He takes a good morning nap and a good afternoon nap and doesn't give me too much trouble. Sometimes he gives me trouble on the morning naps, but the afternoon naps he doesn't usually. It's nighttime where it's just ridiculous. First of all, usually he goes to bed around 7.38 but there have been times here and there where he has stayed up till 9, 30, 10 because he's just not tired and that is really hard for me because I like my evening time. And then waking up at night, he's terrible. Um, I feel like at the beginning of the month, he wasn't doing too bad. I think he was only getting up once, maybe twice. <coughs> Towards the end of this month, I mean, it's every two hours. I, I don't know why he's doing this. He is in a developmental leap right now. He is cutting his first tooth. He is, uh, there's such a thing called the eight month sleep regression. He just started crawling. Um, he could be going through a growth spurt. I mean, there's a million things that could be happening, but it is killing me. I feel like he wants to try to kill me. <laughs> Joking, but he has me up every two hours feeding him. I started to supplement formula, so I'm doing half breastfeeding, half formula. My supply just has been tanking, and I'm gonna go on vacation in a little over a month, so I need him off the boobs anyway. So I started to do formula, and I was like, yes, we're gonna get on formula. It's gonna like help him. He's gonna get more of it. It's gonna stick to his bones more, you know, it's gonna help. It's done nothing. He's sleeping worse, getting up every two hours at night, having me feed him. It's just so bad. I'm not getting any sleep at night. Like as soon as my head hits the pillow when I lay down, I pass out because I'm so exhausted. So that's been really, really hard. Um, a couple nights I go and try to put him, feed him and put him back down and he won't go back down. And then we're up until one, two in the morning. So I kind of feel like that's the eighth month sleep regression or something. It's just really, really tough. I really hope that he starts sleeping better soon because I really need my sleep. It's hard because I keep comparing him to Grayson, which I know I shouldn't do, but by this time Grayson was sleeping through the night consistently. And so it's like, why can't Porter be like that? <laughs> so sleep has been going terribly. He still loves to be held all the time, like I said. Um, he loves all the attention. He does not like it if you leave him <laughs> for a second. He wants to be held all the time. He wants you to play with him all the time. He acts like he's a single child when he's not, and he has to share with big brother Grayson. So. That's been an adjustment. And then just seeing Grayson and Porter play together more now that Porter's mobile and gets into the toys that Grayson is. Sometimes it's cute and nice and sometimes Grayson tries to kick Porter. So <laughs> he's gotta be tough, huh? I've been working on sign language with him, teaching him all done. I think he's starting to get it. I don't really know. He doesn't sign it. Sometimes he does his this and I think that means all done. I don't know, but we are working on on some signs. I need to start signing milk and stuff too. Grayson caught on, I think after a year, he started getting the signs. So I just need to be more consistent. But I think that's gonna be it for Porter's eight month update. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe so you see all my monthly updates as they come out. Make sure to like this video for Porter's noises. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.